Oh, wow, look at that. Sonic 2 in our van. It's working. How cool is this? Do you have an Android Auto in your vehicle and always wanted to go ahead and unlock the full potential of it? Well, this here is the solution to that. This here is the CarPC AA dongle. A line to go ahead and simply plug and play and having a 1.8 gigahertz octa-core CPU at your fingertips. It features a four gigabytes of RAM as well as 64 gigabytes of ROM as well as 4G LTE and GPS built right into it. So that gives you the full capability to download anything from the Play Store where you can go ahead and watch movies, stream videos, watch YouTube, even play games at the fingertips of your vehicle. Now in this episode here, we'll be unboxing and trying it out. So if you guys wanted your own, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this thing. All right, so this here is the packaging, very simple. It says car PC, kind of shows you what it is on the back. All right, <laughs> so not much to it, just a display of what our product is. So really simple and a lot more simpler than I was imagining. So there's no wires, there's no mess. It's literally something that just plugs into the USB port like that and you can go ahead and leave it in there. Now there's an LED ring here as well to give you a status indicator as it connects uh, and it does look like there's a microphone too so this is really cool. Now you do have a uh, little port here to go ahead and insert our SIM card uh, so you can connect to it via LTE and then stream off of it if necessary. So let's go ahead and hop in the vehicle and try this thing out. All right guys, so we're outside here in my family car. This year's a 2021 Toyota Sienna. Uh, and we're gonna be installing our car doggle. So it's actually quite simple. And it's actually almost too simple to do. So literally, obviously we already unboxed it, but what you do is you just go and take this out and you uncap the USB-B port like that and simply find a USB port that's connected to your screen. Now we have a monitor here. Uh, the Sienna comes with its own built-in smart system. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plug this in and I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the vehicle. Now we're just gonna leave it plugged in going forward. So this here is our main hub of the original concept behind the vehicle. Now, right now it just says home, no device connected, audio off, etc. However, if I click on menu, watch this. This will go ahead and once it uploads, it'll create an icon here, Android Auto. So now this here is very new. So if I click this, this will boot up our mini car PC, allowing us to use it to the full extent from watching YouTube music videos, uh, Netflix, you name it, everything is there. And this here is our main hub. Now you have your Google Maps, you have your Waze app, which is great. Uh, you have YouTube, of course, but you can also watch the videos on YouTube, which is nice. You have Netflix, YouTube music, uh, you have your settings, your file manager, and of course a GPS test. Now this here's a pretty defaulted app. However, you can go ahead and download your own. So you can even download games on here too if you like anyway so let's just try this out so we're on YouTube here uh, and the way this works is you can connect it directly to your phone so it's going to be using your phone as a personal hotspot to go and access these videos and these files so for instance I can click on this video here of El Can uh, Encanto um, and I can watch like uh, even a commercial <laughs> and I can go ahead and watch music videos while driving. Now, obviously it's not safe, but this is great if you're parked and about and you wanna watch something, you can always do that. How cool is that? All right, so that is that. Now I can exit out of here. Uh, so just like an Android device, so you do have the same buttons that you would see on an Android device on the right from home to uh, pulling up the menu and to exiting. Um, now you also have some other key functions including file manager. So this thing has an internal hard drive. Well, this one specifically, we have 47.66 gigabytes of internal memory. So if I click this here, so I can add pictures, videos, music, anything you want without having to rely on my phone and using the hotspot off of my phone for the specific unit. So it's kind of nice that they do include that. So literally no delay. Now, if I go back into home, uh, you also have your Google Play Store. So you can download games, uh, you can download any app that your heart contents. Uh, and it's actually really cool. And then of course you also have Netflix too. Now you also have a GPS test uh, in the sense that it kind of gives you an idea of what's happening around you in terms of which direction you're going. 
Uh, and it's actually a really cool aspect in terms of creating something very unique out of something very simple. So I love the fact that you have the full capability to go beyond the typical controls. And if I want to go back into the regular controls, all I gotta do is hit home and we're back into the regular Toyota menu. And if I ever want to go ahead and watch a video, all I have to do is hit menu and then click on Android Auto. How cool is that? Now on the top right here, you have uh, your settings. So you have your phone connection. So you can, it says that we're currently connected to our iPhone as a mobile hotspot. Uh, you have your audio settings. So you have automatic voice control, uh, touch settings, uh, radio plus navigation. Uh, you have your automatic video shut off. So the video will shut off if you go over certain speed. This is more of a safety net. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn that off. Um, clock displayed on video screen. So you can do that too. Uh, change the location of the Android navigation bar uh, and then you have variations of different things here so you can use the vehicle GPS for navigation app so I'll do that too we'll go into settings even more you can upgrade you have customer support you have your setting your time zone so let's go back into menu and yeah I mean that is that pretty much it in terms of what it can do so it's actually really nice all right let's see if we can go ahead and play Sonic the Hedgehog on this thing oh wow look at that Sonic 2 in our van. It's working. How cool is this? Yeah, so this is not entirely comfortable, but the fact that it works is awesome. Sweet. So it kind of gives you an idea what that's about. Overall, a very cool concept and very simple and very easy to use. And yeah, with that said, if you guys had any questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, I thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.